for the LCR circuit shown here, the current is observed to lead the applied voltage. An additional capacitor C when joined with the capacitor C present in the circuit makes the power factor of the circuit unity. The capacitor C must have been connected in series with C and has magnitude C upon omega squared LC minus 1. Series with C and uh, has a magnitude 1 minus omega squared LC by omega squared L. Parallel with C and has a magnitude 1 minus omega squared LC upon omega squared L. And parallel with C and has a magnitude C upon omega squared LC minus 1. Okay, so uh, clearly there are two values which uh, are available for that particular capacitor C dash. Okay, I, I, I didn't read it correctly. It should be C dash and uh, C prime. And that value could either be C upon omega squared LC minus 1 or 1 minus omega squared LC upon omega squared L. Only those values are there. And uh, the, the other variation in the option is it could be connected in series or it could be connected in parallel. Correct? Now, let's try to uh, figure it out. Look, they are saying that current leads the applied voltage. Right? So, current leads voltage. Now, in, in which uh, circuit predominantly the current leads the voltage? Okay, I have asked you to remember the word civil. So, when it comes to current leading the voltage, we should consider the first three letters. That means it should be predominantly capacitor. Correct, it should be predominantly capacitor. Now, look, what is the formula for tan phi? Okay, what is the formula for tan phi if it is predominantly capacitor? Xc minus Xl upon capital R. Now, is it clear this for a particular formula? And here we have got it as 1 upon omega C minus this omega L upon capital okay now currently what is the situation currently the situation is xc greater than xl okay initial condition let's say initial okay and what do we want what we want is xc dash or xc new let's say xc new to be greater than xl now if we want xc new to be greater than xl it means we must increase xc right therefore xc should be increased now if we want xc to increase can i and, and without changing omega can i say that c new should be increased okay which means can i say that c dash or c prime must be connected in parallel oh wait 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 uh, xc should be increased Yes, so C new should be decreased. Oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> XC should be increased, so C new should be decreased. If you want C new should to be decreased. C dash must be connected in which combination? Uh, should be connected in series, right? Yes, C dash must be connected in series because only then the resulting capacitance should be 
or, or will be lesser is it clear because there we use that formula right there we use that formula which formula 1 upon c nu is equal to 1 upon c plus 1 upon c dash correct and there that c nu will become less than uh, uh, bo bo both c and c dash right or in basically it will become less than c have you got this argument or no okay so we now need to find that particular capacitance c dash okay which will make it uh, which will make xc equal to uh, xl okay because power factor unity means uh, phi 0 or tan phi also 0 or x equal to x okay now what is that c new let's use the formula uh, c prime c upon oh sorry c plus c prime upon c c prime therefore c new should be c c prime upon c plus c prime okay what so x c new equal to xl implies 1 upon omega uh, c c prime upon c plus c prime is equal to omega l right now what can we do is we can um, okay firstly let us uh, keep that c plus c prime in the numerator of LHS and let us send omega c c prime to RHS. So that would be omega squared. Okay, that would be omega squared L c c prime. Okay, omega squared L c c prime. Therefore, therefore, um, c plus c prime, can we do? Uh, we can uh, send c prime to rhs c prime into omega squared lc minus 1 and therefore c prime will be c upon omega squared lc minus 1 um, c upon omega squared lc minus 1 and it should be connected in series option a 